Hi everyone, it's Andrea here. Uh, welcome to my booktube channel. <sighs> I am going to do a review of a new Marilyn book that I got this week. Um, it actually came out in October and went out of stock autumn almost immediately and I've had to wait two months to get it and it's called Marin Forever Musings on an American Icon by the Stars of Yesterday and Today and it's been compiled by Bose Hadley. It's a gorgeous picture of Marilyn um, when she arrived in London back in 1956 on the cover and one from one of her early movies on the back. Now this is not a biography, it doesn't tell her story. What it does do is it gives us quotes from various people who knew her um, people who wish they knew her and of course stars of today who have never met her but she has impacted their life. It comes into to four chapters which is Victim, Vixen, Valentine and Venus and then there's an epilogue which is Marilyn in her own words and does contain some of Marilyn's own quotes. So you've got some quotes that aren't very nice. For instance, Marilyn Rowe was fabulous, but in my opinion, she was too fat. By Elizabeth Hurley. That's what we think of her. And then you've got quotes from, there's a lovely one from Meryl Streep, which I'm going to read later. Um, there's one. There are absolutely some lovely comments. Um, and some lovely pictures as well. That's her early. Um, Jean Tierney, who uh, starred in Laura, said, one thing I rather resent is the implication that mental illness is hereditary. Possibly, even I'm not an expert, but if so, very rarely. One hears Marilyn Monroe was tormented by the thought of succumbing to mental illness as her mother did. I find this appallingly fabricated. It's possibly that it could have been. I think she did have a fear. This is a beautiful quote. Miss Monroe was exceptionally beautiful. She was exceptionally successful in her profession. Yet I have read numerous comments by Americans saying they think she was a failure. How is this possible? Except for her early death, who would not want to be Marilyn Monroe, including half of the male population? And that quote came from Astrid Lindgren, who was the Swedish author of Pippi Longstocking. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell has said, you'll find that most of these poor, sad, neurotic Marilyn books and articles are written by men. They have to find something wrong with her, sometimes to boost their own fragile or unfulfilled egos. See, I mean, some of these quotes are absolutely lovely. Uh, Brad Pitt, around the time of interview with the vampire, said, this post-2000 vampire craze is something else. For my money, the perfect vampire would be Marilyn Monroe. Like, who wouldn't want to get bitten by her? She is the ultimate tempt temptress, but one who won't exact a high price or penalty. There is no dark side to her. Cameron Diaz. This is a great one. All I know is, if Marilyn Monroe was insecure about her appearance, what the hell chance do the rest of us have? And that came from another beautiful woman, the late Sharon Tate. The one I really love, and there are ones from people who really did know her. Um, for instance, there are ones from um, William Trevia. There are ones from Norman Roston, um, who knew her, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, Rock Hudson. So people who did know her, the ones that really, really get to meet other ones from people today just just wonderful and the one I really love that I do want to read you before I wrap this up is if I can find it is Meryl Streep and I'm probably not gonna be able to find it now I think it's in the last one. Oh, here's one that uh, William Trevia said about Marilyn. He was her dress designer. He, uh, he designed the self and dress and the one that blows up over her shoulders. I could dine out for free for the rest of my life thanks to the pleated white dress I put Marilyn Monroe in. It was easy to do. There's little to say about it. I've designed hundreds, even hundreds of dresses. And none has got as many, much publicity or was as modelled as well. He really... 
again, Bill Blass, very famous fashion designer. Marilyn was so inherently feminine that some of her costumers needlessly put her into excessively girlish dresses which gave her a slightly childish aura. I would have given a more tailored streamlined look. Even a man's suit she would have looked alluring. No matter what you'd create for Marilyn, she could never look like a woman in drag. On her, much more than the Mona Lisa, even a moustache would look chic. <laughs> it's just fantastic. And uh, this is the final quote. So as you can tell, this book is full of fantastic quotes. Some of them are not nice. I've picked up some of the nice ones. Um, even, I mean, there's Dr. Phil. The Greeks had Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. The Romans called her Venus. The modern world has Marilyn. And if you have to ask Marilyn who, then you're not part of the modern world. Gwyneth Paltrow is, everyone, every woman who goes blonde wants to look like Marilyn Monroe. The sad truth is they can't. On the other hand, almost no woman wants to be Marilyn. Not with the sad life and tra tragic end she had. I mean, yeah, there's some really not so nice quotes, but most of them are really, really, really positive. And I'm going to leave it with this beautiful quote from Meryl Streep, who is a fantastic actress and a beautiful woman in her own right, who has said, I think in her day... Marilyn Monroe was only lusted after. Now she's loved. There's a big difference. I think this is what she wanted all along. Bye!